Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deploy multiple applications or multiple uh, instances of the same application on your VPS with Docker and Traffic 2. So let's get started. First of all, let me open my browser and my terminal. Let me just go to my server. Okay. So currently you can see there is nothing here, no services and no files. Um, I do have prepared uh, my SSL certificate file. Uh, I will reuse it later. Um, so next I will go to my blog and first of all, I will just um, do the same, creating some files and start filling the content of the files, of course. And I will need to change um, here, that will be dash. Um, and then next is the um, static configuration file. We will need to change your domain to your real domain. Okay, next is the dynamic configuration file. So, all good. Now we just copy ACME to here and to data. That's all. Let me just the traffic. All right. Um, let's see. Perfect. It's running now. Okay. So I will put this window here um, just to monitor the status of the um, the application deployment. Okay. I think that's all good. So the next, I'm going to show you how to deploy two WordPress um, on on your VPS. So WordPress is this one. I will start creating a folder, WordPress, and I will create two sites. So one is called WP1 and WP2. Um, if you uh, you can change whatever name you want. I'm just using WP1 and WP2 as it's easier to remember. And just need to copy the content here. Uh, where is it? Interesting, it's here. Paste. So there are a few things we need to change um, because I've got this um, container name settings here. So we need to change it to one and two. Um, Otherwise, it doesn't work and here as well. So if you are setting up two sites, please make sure you change um, the container names for your different sites. Also, the, the, the password to your MySQL um, database. And then I need to change So this one will be WP1 and finally is the data. So I will use um, here as one. Okay, let's see. Okay, all right, it's running. Let's see, this should be just a little bit caching. Yep, done. So let's try two. So what we just need to do, just copy um, this Docker Compose file to WP folder. So let's just go to WP2 and change the one to two, right? We just use a substitute here, one to two. Um, the domain name. I'm just doing it really fast here because it's just like a demo. 
um, in your real real situation, please just um, carefully review all the options there. Okay, so WP2 is up and running. So as you can see, it is very, very simple to have two sites. You don't have to be the same domain. You, you can use whatever domain you want. Um, so you just need to change the domain name on the Docker Compose file and um, traffic will generate the certificate for you. Uh, pretty simple. So next, let's do maybe next cloud. Yep, same thing. We come back to my block and uh, so home, next cloud. So it will be the same thing. Um, copy this content and change the domain to the domain. So here I will call it drive. Um, that's it. Yep, that's it. And next I'm going to deploy a Bitwarden, um, Bitwarden here, sorry, okay, same thing, copy, paste, change your domain to, um, I should probably use the substitute easier. Yep, well done. There is one thing we need to add, which is a middleware used by Bitwarden's WebSocket, which we just added to our dynamic configuration um, here. Done, so, all right, so we just leave it. So the last one I wanna show you is to use a Nginx server so whatever basically whatever server you want so let's just create nginx and let's go to nginx uh i think i've got a nginx templates here somewhere nginx i uh, can't find it maybe file file provider um, yep that's the nginx i want um Okay, paste it here. I was using the um, file provider in this blog post, so there was no label. Let me add some labels to it. Um, in real life, um, I suggest you to use file provider. It is um, easier to, to use. Uh, so come back to here. We just need to change some of the name here. To Nginx secure, um, you can you can change the name to whatever you want, um, like block hyphen secure. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let me just change the domain here. I'm putting Hexo here. Uh, it's just a domain name. Okay. So all right. So it's running. So let's have a look. Let's wait for Hexel to coming out. Okay, so now in just a few minutes, we have set up everything. Let's first one, we'll press one. Second one, we'll press two. And then our next cloud, and then our Bitwarden. The last one is the Nginx, oh, sorry. Um, it's the Nginx. So it's very, very simple to use the. So traditionally, if you're deploying, um, there was one, if you're not using any reverse proxy, uh, one port, for example, port 443 can only be assigned to one application. Uh, with reverse proxy, in this case, is traffic. We can um, expose um, port 443 and 80 to traffic and all the backend services will be connected to reverse proxy. So you can see all these um, applications are running on port 443, uh, which is the HTTPS port. 
Um, so this is how you do it. Um, it's very simple. Um, if you want to deploy multiple sites and multiple applications on one um, uh, one VPS, uh, this is how you do it. Just go to my blog post and grab the um, Docker Compose file and you should be good to go. Okay, so um, that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions, please leave um, your comment down below and I will try my best to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.